Hi everyone, I'm Pamela. Welcome once again to our Worship Wednesday of Songs of Ascent. When we are put in situations that are full of uncertainties or face difficulties and questions without answers, we ask God why. One of my favorite hymns, Blessed Assurance, reminds me, God is our salvation, we can trust and be assured that His hands will guide us and lead us through. We are not alone, no matter what circumstances we are facing or will face in future. The hymn writer Fanny Crosby became blind due to a wrong treatment given to her when she was six weeks old. She could have grown up bitter and angry with God. Instead, despite her difficult circumstances, despite the uncertainties she faced in her life as a result of her disabilities, her faith in God did not waver. Her love for God led her to write more than 8,000 hymns during her life. She would formulate the songs in her mind and dictate it to a friend or secretary. The story behind this particular hymn started one day when her friend Phoebe Knapp played a tune for her and asked her what the melody said to her. Fanny listened and replied, Blessed Assurance, Jesus is Mine. And this hymn was published in 1873 and sung extensively in UK and US. It appeared in our Methodist hymnal since 1889. Let's take a closer look at these three verses of the hymn. In the first verse, Fanny reflected that despite her physical condition, but because of Jesus, her salvation is assured and her life is filled with hope, a foretaste of greater things to come. In the second verse, Fanny declares her total surrender of all that she is going through into the hands of God and in turn experiences ultimate happiness and joy as she receives His mercy and love. Finally, in the third verse, Fanny reminds us that only when we totally submit, give our lives to Christ, that we will find peace as we look forward to His coming again. For all of us watching this today, may this hymn by Fanny once again remind us to focus on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Let us not look at the circumstances surrounding us the war, our economy, our finances, our health, and be fearful or discouraged. Instead, let us be like Fanny, place our lives, our hope, our rest in the assurance of God's love and Christ's finished work on the cross as we patiently await His return. So please join me as we sing this hymn together and make this blessed assurance your story your song
Trust that you've been blessed by this hymn. See you next time.